Uh, right, here's another puzzler for you. What links a Commodore 64, this man, and a live orchestra? Not much, you'd think, but don't worry, here's Kate Thornton with the answer. The 1980s gave us mobile phones, big hair, and computers that brought gaming into our living rooms and bedrooms. But they also had music. By today's standards, the music of the ZX Spectrum and Commodore 64 sounds a bit basic. But it took true artists to produce it. And it all had to do with this. The sound chip that came with computers. Rob Hubbard is seen by enthusiasts as the godfather of British computer game music and composed Commodore 64 tracks like Monty on the Run, Flash Gordon, and Commando. I thought that the game business would probably only last a couple of years. I was trying to make the most of it while I could. When I first started, a lot of the game music sounded very childish. I thought that we should try to push the envelope a little bit. But 80s computers couldn't play Rob's sophisticated music. An orchestra or a piano can play multiple sounds at the same time. The SID music chip could only play three. Many of us developed special techniques to try to overcome that. Rob worked out the computer's three voices could be a melody, a bass line, and a rhythm track. And altogether, it sounds like this. By the time the game code and graphics had been written, there was hardly any of the minuscule computer memory left for music. One trick was to use a tiny musical phrase that took up barely any memory. which you could then get the computer to repeat as many times as you like. It came out like this. It was repetitive, but incredibly catchy. Enthusiasts often bought games like Commando or Kentilla just for Rob's music. Some of them wondered what would happen if his music could be freed from the little box. Tonight in Hull City Hall, the Hull Philharmonic Orchestra is planning to do just that. OK, folks, let's get started. Getting here's been the 20-year dream of Chris Abbott. I guess my question is why? Part of it started off to try and prove to my mum that the noise coming from the black and white telly was actually music. I needed to prove to her and to the world that the music I fell in love with in the mid-80s was actually music that was worth listening to. But how did we end up here in this incredible room? The combination of Rob Hubbard from Hull and Hull Philharmonic Orchestra in Hull City Hall was pretty irresistible as a concept. After Chris had turned the computer code back into sheet music, it had to be reimagined for the orchestra. In charge of orchestration was composition student Alastair Pickering. You weren't even alive when this chip music scene emerged. I had to basically teach myself about this whole world. So I had to take the three tracks and then uh, expand them, orchestrate them, and that took about eight months of solid writing. A lot of people have a lot of love for this music, so it's got to be perfect. So the doors are open, the performance is about to begin, and Chris's 20-year dream is about to become a big reality. If it was Rob Hubbard, I would get the game, listen to the music. I think what I'm hoping to hear is this kind of epic, huge sound. I, I can imagine that was in his head when he was writing them. Robin, take your conductor. For 30 years, Monty on the Run has sounded like this. Tonight, Monty's free. I'm at the Rob Hubbard Appreciation Society annual gathering. There is so much love for you and your work here tonight. Yeah, it's, it's very surreal. It kind of validates my career. Rob Hubbard wrote so many fantastic pieces of music which just sent shivers down your spine. Lovely. You guys fans of game consoles when you were kids? Our sons are. 